that that we like. Greetings and salutations. Uh, no, no, let's do that again. Hair comb, face wash, body cover. Greetings and salutations. You already see too many mistakes, too many hands. So guess what we're doing? I'm answering your questions. This is your girl, I spoke in Deva. Let's get started. Housekeeping rules, uh, housekeeping things, items, you know, not rules. Housekeeping. Uh, all versus questions, you know, something versus something else, will become written questions. Uh, <clears throat> now that I know where they actually come from, uh, putting those on video is a little risky, even though I'm not monetized. I won't get sued because that's somebody else's property or whatever. For the most part, you know, so unless, you know, it's an original question, maybe, but all of them that I know that are coming from other videos or podcasts or whatever, they will be written questions, okay? All right, uh, let's get started. We have three of them today. Um, two of them are kind of, I won't say time sensitive, as in we need to quickly get these out, but they are for me to do them at a different time. If I put it out at a different time of the year, it kind of loses its translation. So, okay, too much explaining, too much talking. Let's get started. <clears throat> One of the photos about Walmart's Juneteenth ice cream had Pride Month ice cream in it that you posted in your Walmart uh, Juneteenth Pride Month post. Should gay people protest or complain about the Pride Month ice cream? First of all, thank you for reading. Thank you. Um, but to answer your question, okay, I'm going to say this. I can't say this any other way. As a cis heterosexual woman, I don't feel I have the right to say that those that <clears throat> celebrate pride and I say that because I I don't want to just say LGBT but also their allies also LGBT plus uh, but also their allies too those who celebrate pride I, sh I, I don't feel that, that it's right for me to say that uh, that they should protest or complain about, their, about Walmart making an ice cream for them that may not be offensive to, me, to them as a black woman, <clears throat> I was offended by the Juneteenth uh, ice cream because that's not what Juneteenth is about. Okay, I don't no, no. Okay, now, if those who celebrate Pride feel like that is what, no, that commemorates Pride for them or help them celebrate Pride, then, you know, I can't tell them they should be offended. If they are offended, then they need to lift their voice just like black people did <clears throat> when it was about the Juneteenth uh, ice cream and other products. So, yeah, but, yeah, I don't, yeah, I can't tell them that they should be offended or they should complain that they should protest. That's just my stance on it. So, yeah, so, uh, that's, yeah, that's my answer. Uh, next question. It's graduation time. I saw this question on Instagram, and I am asking... You know what? Let me do another question, and I'll come back to that. <clears throat> I'm going to do this third question I have on her. Uh, I think I am being catfished. Met a man online a month and a half ago, and it seems like the typical fake tale. Never has time to meet up. Won't show their face in video calls. Uh, should I just ghost him? You could. You've never met him. You could. You can then just block him or whatever, you know. You could. The mature thing to do, just tell him, I think you're a Don't contact me anymore. Lose my number. And block him. That's the mature thing to do. I mean, you know, you can say it a little bit better than I said it, but... If, the, if you feel like they're a catfish, then yeah, tell them. Like I said, you know, you don't have to take this. Now, either that'll mean that they will step up, you know, or, you know, 
they'll get upset, you know, probably cuss you out or whatever, but just walk them. But, yeah. Don't even worry about it, you know. But, yeah. Don't ghost them. You shouldn't ghost them. That's not a mature thing to do. Have I not done the, have I done the mature thing all the time? I haven't. But, you know, today I feel like a mature person, so don't, don't ghost them. Just tell them, you know, I think you're okay, please. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Goodbye. Don't talk to me anymore. Goodbye. Lose this number. Goodbye. People tell me that I shouldn't tell people to lose my number, but they haven't found, I haven't found an alternative that makes me feel better, so. Lose, uh, lose my number is it, so. Yeah. All right, next question. <clears throat> We're going to end on a more mature note <laughs> and happier note. Okay, it's graduation time. I think this question, I saw this question on Instagram, and I'm asking you, what is the one thing you regret not doing or not doing sooner in high school? Um, not letting my freak flag, nerd flag fly sooner. This is one of the things that I envy about young people now. Excuse me, young black people now, especially young black nerds, young black geeks, young young and awkward, all that kind of stuff. Because now that is part of the conversation. The words black people are not a monolith is a thing. Okay? Being able to enjoy comic book or uh watch a superhero movie or uh watching cartoons it's okay watching playing videos it's a it's a it's a thing i mean when i say playing videos not just the bang bang shoot 'em ups no fortnite you know it's okay you know when i was growing up i felt the need that i had to keep i had to be a stereotype basically stereotypical black whatever was going on in my neighborhood okay I could not, I felt as though I could not let my, I do th- I won't say do things in secret, but I know that there were portions of myself that people looked at strange and they thought were weird and they would say so, you know, because it wasn't the cool thing to do or, you know, the in thing to do, okay? Uh, I think the only thing that most people knew about me until I was like 15, yeah, I read a lot. But I also had to make sure that whatever I was reading, yeah, was a black was a black author, you no know, something you know people had heard of or whatever. Okay, they didn't know that I was reading everything, you know. So, and then, but you know, it wasn't until high school, and it wasn't until I heard a group of people talk about, you know, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that uh I feel comfortable. You know. Oh, I won't say these these were my tribe, but at least I know I have these people that I can talk about this with. You know. Uh I didn't you know, I didn't have to hide that I watched X Men. You know, one of my uh <clears throat> you know, they're my best friend now. They're still my best friend. We talk about, you know, Batman back in the day and X Men back in the day. We still do, you know. So, you know, I I wish I had went on and let people saw see saw let people see that you know I don't have to do the cool thing all the time and I like being smart and I like being a nerd. I mean it, the bad part about it was it wasn't like I was hiding it. Well, there's a truck. Um, someone's doing some work or something. So if y'all hear a truck, okay. Um, uh, but yeah, it wasn't like I was hiding it. Where I mean. Number one, I'm awkward as I'll get out. I mean, if y'all could see the amount of times that I I fell when I was in high school. Shoot, when I was in college too, you know. Y'all would be like, oh my God, you know. So I look like, okay. But, but, but because I was a black teenage girl, that was not, you know, I wasn't allowed to... Or at least I didn't feel this though. And it wasn't until, like I said, my sophomore year in high school that I met other black people that, you know, were they my tribe? Mm, some of them, and some of them weren't, you know, were these going to be my lifelong friends? Mm, some of them, some of them are. But I at least found people that I could discuss these things with, you know. I wish I 
did do that sooner. I wish I had always done that, you know. But, hey, that's my story. And, you know, it's me color, right? So, yeah. So, yeah. Let your free play fly. Let your, show that you're nerdy and weird and goofy and stuff. That's like I said, I, that's one of the things I am jealous about with these young people. They can show who they are, and it's okay. You know? They still, they're free to do it. I love it. I love seeing it. Uh, other than that, that's it. For the questions and stuff, if you have any comments, uh, questions, comments, or concerns, or as they say on the Seriously Podcast, QCCs, let me know down below on this video, down below on the, uh, in the comments of the <clears throat> the blog on the social media site that you see this on. See? Our awkward and goofy. See? I wasn't hiding it. Okay. Other than that, uh, talking to you in adult terms, okay? <laughs>